Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking about, I guess like what it takes uh, to be a computer science major or what is included in a computer science major. But today I will be testing out the stuff I got from Flush Beauty. I got a lot of stuff from Flush. Um, some lip glosses, we got some uh, foundation, um, some highlights, and we also got this kind of like a gloss it's like a eye and cheek gloss I'm gonna use on my eyes um, but I'm really, really excited so yeah I'm gonna be testing out that stuff for this get techie with me while I talk about all this stuff so if you want to learn more keep on watching they gave me five shades of their firm flush thick stick foundation so let's show you what it looks like it's a little tube like this it's really really cute so I got five of these um, and I got the shades from 30 to 34, I believe. If I remember correctly. Yeah, 30 to 34. Um, I did swatch all of these, actually. These swatches are on my Instagram. I did a little Instagram video for this. So if you want to see the swatches, definitely go check out my Instagram. I'll pop up my, my handle here somewhere on the screen. Um, but yeah, I from my swatches, I think my shade is either 31 or 33 but i'm thinking it's 31. 31 is tiramisu it's kind of like a golden neutral i would say so this is tiramisu i'll, I'll i'm gonna just swatch it i guess like hmm, i guess i'll swatch it here like it's really really golden and i feel like i could do this all over my face um the other one i thought i might be is hazelnut it's a little to different in like the color wise of on the bottles this one is hazelnut just a tad lighter i was like going between the two of these i might try hazelnut at first honestly because i feel like if it's too light i could just always mix in a little bit of dark so we're gonna try that that's what we're gonna try <laughs> so next we have is the flush pot which is that eye and cheek gloss i was talking about this is the product i was most excited about because you could it, well first off first off look how pretty it is it's like an iridescent um just like a gloss honestly it's so so pretty i'm gonna use it on my eyes kind of to do like a dewy shiny look so you guys will see that the next is ripe flesh glisten drops um i got the shade 230 which is candle glow this is the glisten drops and it's basically just like a dropper like that and you press there's a, like a button at the top and you press and it will drop the actual product so i'll use it as my highlight today and then also what i'm very excited about is their hot sauce lip gloss this is their most recent launch they gave me two of them so i have 310 and 330 310 is to the window and 330 is in petal confetti so i've been already loving in petal confetti to be honest i've already worn it multiple times let's watch both of these for you guys so this one is the to the window as you guys can see it's kind of like sheer but it's really cute this one is the in petal confetti look at that just look at that look at that Oh my god. I start off with my NARS Radiance Primer. So I'm just putting this all over my face, just wiping this all over my face. For one, what it takes to be a computer science major is just interest at first. Um, I think you want to, you, you definitely want to want to do the CS major without just feeling like um, you're doing it for the money afterwards. Um, because if you do it for wanting, um, it'll be easier to pick up stuff instead of just doing it for money which obviously some people do and still do well but i feel like you enjoy the major more when you're doing it because you actually are interested in it the next thing i would say is time management um there's times where you might be taking multiple classes and there's multiple assignments due and you have to uh, being groups and having to figure out when this is due or um, 
you know starting code on this project or you know just basically talking with different people at the same time so time management is definitely I mean time management for any major is vital but I feel like computer science for sure is definitely you need definitely need time management also to start early and stuff I needed to start earlier for sure so I'm telling you guys to start earlier <laughs> I could speak specifically from Rutgers but I feel like most colleges have these classes that you will take as a computer science major. I know at Rutgers we started off with intro to computer science and then data structures. So those are the two CS classes um, that you had to take before you declared. There was also a discrete math one um, which is not necessarily math. It is but it's not necessarily like full-on numbers there's a lot of for each and every <laughs> for each and everything or uh, that's like is that enums I don't remember correctly but there's definitely some um, probability in there and um, now probability might have been discrete math too I can't <laughs> it's all dumbled up but yeah this green math one was a prereq or like a required class before you declared and then also Calc 1 and Calc 2. Those were kind of widespread. Those are the classes you probably will be taking in the beginning. Um, some schools also take algorithms in the beginning. Rutgers, you usually take that later on in your, um, I guess, college career, <laughs> your major. Like, I didn't take it until uh, senior year. So um, you can take it junior year, but you know, it's usually later on. There's definitely other classes that a lot of people take, but they're not required. I know some schools you do have to take like operating systems, um, maybe some network classes, but at Rutgers, those are more electives. Those are not required classes. Um, we did have to take computer architecture and algorithms, like I, like I said, those are the other um, required classes in linear algebra, of course, which deals with matrices and um, row reduction. So this is one coat, well, one layer of the foundation. Now my camera blurs out, of course, and you can't always see everything, but honestly, for one layer, it did a pretty good job. Um, it didn't cover up everything, but I feel like with this brand, it's flesh. So it's supposed to look like your skin. And I think that it's really achieving that, honestly, because it's really not, it's it's giving a nice uh, seamless like layer, but it's not really completely covering. It's not like a full coverage look, which is good for like a day where you're not trying to do too much makeup. And I like it. It's still giving me a nice finish over my face. And I mean, like I said, my, my, my camera does blur, but um, I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go into the eyes now. So let me first off, I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm really just going to put the flush pot and do mascara. That's really all I'm going to do. But first I'm going to use the Glossier um, Boy Brow to just go over my brows a little bit. Again, I'm going to use flush pot. I'm actually just going to use the cap because it has a little bit on the cap. So I'm going to just do a little a little. So I did do a databases class, which was one of my favorite classes because I liked actually learning SQL um, and, you know, seeing how a database works. We had to do a database uh, project, so that was cool. Um, I did a systems programming class, which I basically was doing stuff with C. Um, it was more like threading, multi-threading and processes, um, stuff with sockets. So it wasn't my favorite class because I wasn't a big fan of C, but I feel like I definitely did learn a lot in that class because I use threading at my job now. I use processes at my job now. So I definitely feel like if you have a class like that, that's not required, definitely take that because multi-threading is very powerful um processes are um very useful so i would definitely uh strongly suggest taking those classes wow this is really pretty i'm just blending in with my finger it's gone on just like very wet and dewy I took a software methodology class which was more so of 
learning how um kind of like software engineering or most so more so um i did a lot of i guess like functional programming it was cool that class we coded in java and i did a photo album project i did an android project i also did we coded chess which was crazy because i never thought i would have been able to do that um and we did that with partners in that class so like i said with the partners thing i would definitely know how to deal with partners um because i feel like that's a lot of your cs career i'm just using a, a q-tip here to just go over and kind of just give i don't want to say a cut crease but like just take off the excess that is in um my crease area and take that off then i'm just put some mascara on to enhance my lashes i'll let my essence i love extreme i mean i feel like i use this mascara all the time to go back to what it takes i would say that it definitely takes um resilience there are gonna be times where you feel like oh my god why did i do this why did i do this to myself <laughs> or like why am i not getting the answer why is this code not compiling why am i getting a segmentation fault there's a lot of times <laughs> Why am I getting this error? Like, where is the semicolon? <laughs> like, there are multiple times where I felt like, oh my goodness, like, this is so much. But at the end of the day, it's very rewarding. Um, and I learned a lot. And I still continue to learn a lot because there's so much that you don't learn in school that you learn on the job. So now we're gonna put on the glisten drop. I won't be glistening, so I'm really trying to put a lot on them. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. Like, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Boom. Just natural. Boom. Natural. Boom. Like, one of the last things I think I want to say about uh, what it takes to be a computer science uh, major is believing in yourself. Um, and I feel like that goes along with, you know, not doubting yourself and telling yourself to get through, but believing yourself. Anyone who puts their mind to anything, but I, and specifically computer science, um, if they put their mind to wanting to do the major, they're gonna get through the major. Um, there might be hurdles, um, there might be some failures, there might be some struggles, but in the end, I feel like if you put the mind to try to learn it as best as you possibly can, I think you'll do it. And I think you'll you'll like it. Like I said, I'm gonna go in with in petal confetti for my lip gloss, the hot sauce lip gloss. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some insight on what it takes definitely hard work in addition to all that I feel like that was kind of like implied but you definitely need to do some hard work with CS as well but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you to Flash <laughs> these are gonna be the essentials for me this summer but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys come back to hang out with me in my next get techie with me and yeah bye <laughs>